Yeah, I have a YouTube channel where I just go around to all the legalized marijuana places oh, cool. and get some new shots. I'm in Colorado, Los Angeles Cannabis Farmers Market. Cool. So if it's cool with you yeah. guys, it's cool. Yeah, yeah. You know? Thanks, yeah, man. The CDC and yesterday doing a documentary on us. Oh, sweet. Cool. And now, is this legal for me to be here with the California rec, or is it? This is. Uh, it's valid. This isn't for mer for mer oh, it's medical license. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's all cool, man. Sweet, cool. Yeah. Cool, thanks. Now, hopefully, I get one of those before I go. <laughs> yeah, there's speed up, eh? Yeah, no, it, it'll be okay, okay. I'll be back. I'm going to get my rental car. Oh, I hear you. No, shit, no time yet. So we'll take it, baby. We've got half an ounce for 50 bucks. Deadhead OG. No, it's Keith, one gram. Bubba Kush. Let's start hiding it. God. What's that? Very nice. Six dollar grams. <laughs> this is crazy. I'm from I'm from California and I'm a medical patient there, but we don't have this. <laughs> we just stumbled upon this uh, yeah. earlier in the week. A uh, marijuana vending machine. Yeah. <laughs> this was in the news uh, a couple of months back. Oh yeah. Wow, half an ounce of White Widow for 70 bucks. Yeah, we stumbled upon this when we first came to Vancouver a couple of days ago. Yeah. <laughs> and this was the one that was in the news. <laughs> the only been in the scene in Vancouver. Because we pop in every couple of months. Yeah, where are you from? Up north, north of the Okay, cool. Alien OG, I think. Thanks, man. Good stuff. <laughs> I got purple Kush. Oh yeah, it's alright. Yeah, is that a hybrid? No, it's a pure indica. The pure indica? Yeah. Oh shit. It's alright. There's yeah. better stuff in there. Do you have any pure sativas in there? Yeah. Yeah. Which one? Uh, it's in the machine that all we have left is half ounce. But I got this here. I do have some of these in the jars. Oh, you got Phoenix Tears here too, huh? This is a pure sativa in Afghan. Afghan Kush? But, yeah. Uh, we got. Uh, this is nice, Dark Angel. A gram of that. Nine dollars. Nine bucks. Think I could trade that in and pay the difference? Yep. Cool. Uh, I'm leaving tomorrow and don't need that much. Yeah. No, you don't want much. <laughs> Which one would you like? Uh, blue time warp. Huh? Small. I've blue never tried that one. Yeah. Okay. 
California? No. No? No, not that I've seen. Really? They did a... Uh... I know they tried. Did they? Yeah. They might like a, somewhere. Quite a few years ago, and I don't know what happened with it. They tried the cannabis farmers market. It lasted yeah. a few weeks in LA, and then it got shut down. Yeah. But that was cool, man. Like all the local farmers, yeah. it was, it was cool. Of, uh, Washington State? No, no. Going there? I'm going to Seattle tomorrow. Maybe I could squeeze it in. <laughs> they have those going on the there too, right? Expensive. Expensive? Well, the retail shops because they put a 40% tax on it. Oh, yeah. Right? 40? 40%. Colorado is 21, and that was crazy. I was paying 17 yeah. a gram. They still have dispensaries, right. though. Yeah. <laughs> we don't get the markup, right? Uh huh. Like for you, you could use the dispensary and you wouldn't get that markup. Oh, okay. But if you're just doing retail, then it's a 40% markup. There. Cool man. Well, thank you. We keep the change. You guys do tips here, yeah, bud tender tips. All right. <laughs> Take it easy. Thanks a lot. See if my bike was stolen. <laughs> Vancouver, man, what the fuck? And my bike is still here. That guy was so chill. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa.
Why is abortion a crime? Because it's not a it's a little being, it's a little human being. They 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 are law in Canada allows babies to be aborted for nine months. It couldn't be allowed in other things so the legs taken off. So what do you propose for mothers who can't handle or support having a child? And uh, no, I think that that's where we should be the society has to help. You know? The government plus society, each individual is responsible to stay in do as much as they can handle. I agree. So, so I think the job is, in a lot of those really living countries, they, they support mothers very much. You know, they have children, they have mothers. They have everything they need. You know, and the, the abortion rate there is pretty low in the lower section. But they really help the mothers, the unmet mothers, who get hard work and so on. And that's, I think, where we're supposed to be. Well put. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I did not understand a word that that man said. Time to troll the motherfucking anti-abortionists. Okay. How does abortion harm the father? Oh, because he loses his baby. How does it harm him though? Well, he values his own children. He doesn't die. Is it his child if it's not born yet, though? Is it still his child if it's not born yet? It's not a rabbit. It's a human baby. It just hasn't been born yet. Yeah. So what do you propose mothers and fathers should do if they don't want to keep the baby? Give them for adoption. Because there are lots of loving homes that would like to have babies. Don't have them. Yeah. Now, I, in Canada, like, I'm from the United States. Yeah. And I know, like, hospital bills are a big concern. All right, there you go. <laughs> like, uh, hospital bills would be a big concern. Like, for example, if I ever knocked up a woman and we didn't want it, like, I wouldn't be opposed to abortion just because we probably couldn't afford the bills, I don't have health insurance, this and that. So, when it comes down to actually producing the baby, making it come into real life, and yeah. then putting up for adoption costs money, this and that. Well, I, I, not in Canada, of course, but, uh, no, you're right, it's, it's a problem. Yeah. There should be charity to help, help a couple of things. Because sometimes I feel like a, an unaborted child with parents that aren't there growing up might yeah. be more of a problem to society than if it was just taken care of before, you know? Well, I'm not saying I agree with abortion. No, no, I know. We're just talking. Yeah. Uh, well, you never know what's going to happen. Yeah. In the first life. And uh, other children, you know, already, you know, charging around down here. And we don't know how they're going to grow up. We hope for the best. Yeah. Can do. yeah. Well, thanks. <laughs> that was all on tape. No. Um, is that okay if I use that? No. Or it might go on the internet on my YouTube channel. I can't stop you. Okay. Hey, that's great. Yeah. I wondered what that was. It's a camera. I like to like do some real life stuff. I'll just go around town and talk sure. to people. And... and this is the most interesting part of town there is. I mean, I just bought marijuana legally at a, at a store. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, take it easy.
Welcome to the real world, people. Hey, what up? I have a camera on my head. Shoo bop she do. Do 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 do. Oh, that's not it. Oh, shit. Hi, I was here with the Rossi gang last week and I was videotaping them and they all told me it was cool to like take footage in here and I was wondering if I could come back in and get some other shots in here. Uh, okay, um, I don't know I'll go in and ask. Sorry, what's your name again? My name's Jordan. Jordan? With the Rossi gang. Rossi gang? The Carlo Rossi gang. The jazz band. See how they react to that. <laughs> no, I do like real life shots of traveling in the world. So Vancouver's got a hit, and I want to see. So you just traveling around then, or yeah, yeah I'm from California. How long have you been traveling for? Off and on, like seven years. I've been working on making a home base somewhere. So you've been a lot of places then? Kind of. I've been to Western Eastern Europe and time and taught English in Thailand and in Southeast Asia. And then to Indonesia and Nepal in October. And then up the US and Mexico and Central America. I mean, not a crazy amount of locations, I guess, but the world's a good place. That's cool. That's awesome. I'm Jordan. Nice to meet you, Sandra. You're from Vancouver? Um, I was born and raised in Langley. So. Langley, where's that? Um, I'm from 